Oh, hello there. Uh, it's Monday. No, it's not Monday. <laughs> oh, what a great start. It's Monday. It's not Monday. It's Wednesday. Should we just start that again? Oh, hello, it's Wednesday. Yes, it is Wednesday. All day, apparently. Uh, and it means, because it's Wednesday, ev Wednesday evening, it is, of course, uh, time for Creative Cravings, which is fantastic. Now, I am not here on my own. Uh, Craig is here with me. So it's a double Craig day today. What a fabulous day we're having. It absolutely is. Double, double Wednesday day on a Wednesday. Uh, yeah, so we're here earlier on this morning, morning here in the UK. And uh, yeah, we're back again this afternoon for Creative Cravings. A great selection of stuff coming up uh, over the next couple hours. I can't wait. A nice uh, selection of different seasonal things that we've got coming up. Mm, it is, and I, I love some of the stuff that's coming up in this show. One of my absolute favourites is going to be featured a little bit later today. Right, as it is a Wednesday, uh, we always start off Creative Cravings, cre creative cravings with our... Uh, what is going on with me today? I think I'm giddy with excitement, that's what it is, Craig. We're going to start so. off going to start off with our hero tool. What a hero tool it is. The point of a hero tool is if you are fairly new to craft, it's a tool or a selection of tools that we think you cannot live without in your crafty stash. So we're going to give you some of our beautiful six inch scissors. These are non-stick, which is fantastic. Uh, and they are made, they are the most amazing quality. If you want to cut fabric and paper, you can do both with the one pair of scissors, which is amazing. We're also going to give you a couple of pokey tools. I mean, these of course are the most essential of all essentials. And we're also going to pop into here as well our edge crimper as well to allow you to get all those distressed edges on a whole host of different uh, projects. $12.99 or $19.79. Now I need to let you know something big, huge uh, launched this morning here uh, on Crafters TV. It is our members event. It started this morning. It's going to run right the way through till the end of Sunday and it means there's so many great things that you can get. You can get double points. Everyone's gonna get double points. Everyone is gonna get an extra 5% off. So if you are a silver member, you're already getting 10% off, you'll now get 15. If you're a platinum member getting 20%, you'll now get 25% off. And also, everyone that spends over 40 pounds or $40 in one track sac transaction will get this amazing, oh, exclusive members event, keep calm and craft on tote bag. It is, it's direct from the runways of Paris to Newton Aycliffe. That is exactly what it is. Uh, everyone will get one of these, which is brilliant. Just spend over 40 pounds or $40 after your discounts have come off and we'll pop this in your basket. Now we had a very, very busy show this morning. I know we're gonna have another busy show today, but what's coming up can you sort of whet our appetite entice us slightly would you craig as to what we're going to see in this creative craving show oh go on seeing as you asked ever so nicely we've got something you may have not seen for a wee while we've got our edgeable dies these are so cute this is just one of many designs that we've got you can see there with the rose and exactly that it's the edgeable don't just think as all edgeables you could be using them in many different ways but then what we're going to do something else that's quite relatively new is our staycation dies and stamp sets these work really well whether you want to use them on their own or why not incorporate them with something else that we've got coming up the pop-up dies so we will be showing you a demo where we've used the staycation dies but with the pop-up dies however you can use the pop-up box die with your uh, Christmas selection that we've also got on so a nice seasonal selection of uh, crafting goodies for you to uh, get your teeth into today yeah absolutely there's loads coming up in this show today we're going to start it off with though with something that sold out back in may you guys have waited ages for these to come back into stock and also what i'll say is since they were hit our website yesterday you guys have been shopping in your droves to grab these they are edible so the great thing about edibles is it mean you, means you can do all of those different edible techniques with them so uh pop yourself over to our website go and watch some of the six or eight hours of edible masterclasses that are there I I can't quite believe it that you get six of them for that great price of 38 pounds or 66 dollars no one's going to be paying that though because everyone's going to be getting at least an extra five percent off of that which is great let's take you through these options i love them this one here this is your cascading circles this is almost like bubbles this reminds me of and again the great thing is because of the way they work you can use them uh, over the edge there's loads of different techniques craig going to share lots of those with us as we go through the show now the rose this one is gorgeous crying out to be paper piece that elegant rose this one next one here is your schmetterling 
Springs. It is our butterfly breeze that you've got there. Again, loads of great open space. If you want to do things like put glitter card or mirror card behind it, of course, you've got the option to do that. Ah, oh, you've got the heart confetti. This one's gorgeous. Who's going to make an early start on their Valentine's cards with this one? Uh, right, we've then got two others in here for you. So you're also going to get the cupcake, which is this one here. Just looks good enough to eat and you're also going to get the balloons as well. There are so many different ways of you using these. It's busy already. It was gonna be busy before we gave you that extra 5% off. Uh, if you wanna get them individually, absolutely you can. They're all available individually for you. You can get two for 14 pounds or $23 if you want to get them in that configuration as well. Right, there's loads of great stuff in this show and we're gonna, get, are we gonna do our best to work our way through it as we go through the show. What else I wanna say is, it's creative craving. So it means that it's that one show of the week where we'll really take it back to basics. Any questions that you've got? Right, about quarter past, about quarter past five, so you need to stay with us, we're gonna open the craft clinic. I can only open the craft clinic if I get enough questions. And the thing is, we've got props this week, so I really want to have enough questions because I wanna put the props on and it's gonna be a lot of fun. We've actually, I mean, we have blown the budget. I mean, our Amazon Prime membership is on fire this week. I've also got new props for five in five. The horn, it's gone, it's finished. It's gone in the bin. Uh, you'll be pleased to know, loads of you will be very happy about that. I've got a new prop for that as well. It's gonna be a fun field show, what can I say? Let's dive in and have a look at some of the other stuff that's on the show as well that we'll be getting to a little later. Our staycation collection, so, so busy, really beautiful, very modern this. Uh, you can get it individually there, details on your screen. Uh, two for 25 or 35, if you wanna go for all four of them together, that's where you get the best value, 45 pounds or 55 dollars when you get it all together. There's a fantastic paper pad as well, the home away from home paper pad i'll share that with you uh oh here it is it is absolutely gorgeous 14.99 or 17.95 if you want to get that i mean i think you could get that and not have the stamps to be honest it is that beautiful it works wonderfully standalone also going to be having a little look at the pop-up box stamp and die collection later in the show as well uh, so you can see four different uh pop-up boxes available to you there and what you've also got is actually five different pop-up box dies. I can, oh no, there is fifth one there. Sorry, I'll take it back. Uh, you're gonna get the pad. You're also going to get the rock blocks in there as well. 85 pounds, $99. You can get the paper pad on its own. I know a lot of you be coming back to stock up on that one. Uh, myself and Craig launched this a few weeks back and we had an incredibly busy show with that collection. I know we're gonna have another busy show with it now. Right, questions, the craft link. You've gotta get them into me and you can get them to me over on Facebook. So I'm monitoring the crafters tv page over on facebook that live feed um pop them on youtube as well i'm sure one of our social media superstars will pick them up uh from there as well but craig i know is giddy as a kipper to get demoing with these aren't you craig i am indeed just love edibles in all different aspects so what we're going to do first is we're going to use the butterfly breeze so you can see with this is the one that we're going to be using and you can see you've got that gorgeous detailed butterfly. Now on this one here, you could be using it in many different ways. This doesn't have to be at an angle or a straight on edgeable. So what we're going to do is I've taken a card blank. So my card blank is seven inches by five and three quarters. And then all that I've just done is I've just folded it back. So we start to get that shape just there. So then what I'm going to do is I want it this way. So I'm going to bring in my butterfly die. So this is a very, uh, quite a simple one to show you how you can actually be using them. So what I'm going to do here is on the fold of the card, I'm just going to pop my die up against the edge so it matches because the actual outside edge of the butterfly will die cut and this bit will stay in place. So to hold it in, we're going to use some of our low tack tape. Now these dies, as you can see, these will go through your gem I junior it just depends on the size of the card that you are die cutting that will uh, determine whether you need your Gemini or your small Gemini to uh, use so it's a wafer thin die so what I've done is my base cutting plate then plastic shim magnetic shim and top cutting plate so let's run this one through so as that goes through what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to wait and then when I hear it just going over that last part of the die like there I'm just going to press it and I'm just going to reverse it. Of course, you can let it go all the way through, but the joyous thing about having the large Gemini or the Gemini Junior is that you've got that reverse function. So what we're going to do is let's just 
peel this one away. We can move that out the way. Now, I don't need to tell you how fantastic the uh, pokey tool is because you know that I use it all the time. But the great thing, so if I actually just peel that one off, now don't worry about the excess cardstock around here because we're ready to chop that off in a moment. And as it is, these have all just die cut just perfectly. But then if you do have any bits of card in place, you would just use your pokey tool and you would just poke it all out. You might have one of the die release tools that would work as well but then also you can never uh, go wrong with having a pokey tool anyway let's just move that to the side so then what we're just going to do is let's bring in our scissors and then what we're just going to do is just up to uh, the line you'll start to see there's a slight embossed line where the die has been so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to cut just up to that line and then what i'm going to do is I'm just going to work our way along and I'm just going to snip to that first die cut so we can see we're taking that away and then I'm just going to do exactly the same just there so snipping just down to the embossed line and then I'm just going to snip just along if you've got your ruler and craft knife then of course you can be using that that's absolutely no problem so then we're starting to create that fold there just with the butterfly that you can see Beautiful. so what I've already done is I've done one where I've just added just some gems onto the butterfly so just wee pearls and we've just popped them within the middle so then all that I'm going to do is I'm just bringing in some pattern papers that I've got and just a few embellishments we're just going to finish it off and it goes to show you how you can make such an elegant card with the edibles but make it really quite simple and straightforward wonderful uh, lots of people excited about these lots of people going for them you know what I'm thinking Craig lots of our viewers will have got these when they sold out very very quickly back in May if you are one of those lovely viewers that did get your hands on them back then I would love you to send us in some pictures and you know how to do that studio at craftscompanion.co.uk uh, my producer look my producer Laura is already telling me we're getting some pictures coming in which is lovely we love it when you share uh, your creativity uh, with us um, where did you say those papers were from Craig so this one is from I'm trying to think which one I used this one from as well uh, I'll need to double check my uh, pad so let's just move this one out the way we're going to stick this on. So once we go back to you just shortly, Joel, I'll double check the pad that I used this one from. So I'm just going to pop that one on just there, folding that back. You can see there, so you can see how that's starting to come together. Then all that we're just going to do, just to finish it, just with some foam pads, we have taken uh, these bits off and let's just pop these ones into place. Let's go that way. So let's press that one into place. We've got a couple. It is... Um, our butterfly collection. Butterfly, um, oh gosh. Butterfly, nature's garden butterflies. Nature's garden, that's it. That's it. As soon as I seen the butterfly embellishments that I'd poked out, I thought that's where it's from. So then all that we're just going to do, once again, let's just move that one to the side. I've got just a couple of wee roses as well. So let's just add a bit of tape. If you've got any of the glue, then of course you could be using that, absolutely. What one do you think is the favorite, Craig, out of this collection? I, I would have thought the uh, the rose. Ooh, I would have thought. Well, I would have thought the butterflies, but it is not. The rose is a second favourite. Right. Uh, the favourite one is actually the cascading circles. And actually, it's funny that that is because I remember last time we bought this collection, the cascading circles sold out, uh, was the first one to sell out. And I think that's going to be the case again today. It's really busy. Cascading circles is your uh, favourite one at the moment. That is looking beautiful, Craig. So again, I've just taken one of the tags that also came in with that collection, and then I'm just going to leave it like that. Again, it shows you how, such a nice way in how you can use the edgeable, but that really didn't take me long at all. So if you need to make some really quite quick cards, but you still want to have that elegance within them, that's the great thing with having these edgeable cards. Wonderful, that looks absolutely uh, beautiful. Uh, if you want to get your hands on these, it is really, really busy. So let's just recap that collection again. Remember what you're going to receive in here. You're going to get the beautiful uh, hearts in there, the cascading circles, which is your absolute favourite. Then you've got 
as well that heart in that the, no that's a rose joe uh, you've got the rose you really are loving the rose and the cascading circles at the moment the rose is great for paper piecing uh, you've got the butterflies in here you're then also going to get as well uh, you're going to get the cupcakes i think it's such a really lovely modern one that one and you're going to get the balloons as well it really is wonderful things like your stained glass window techniques that one 38 pounds or 66 dollars if you want to get hold of all of that there you are now remember uh you don't have to add a couple more bits to your basket make sure you're over that 40 pounds or 40 dollar spend so you can uh make sure you grab that free tote as well remember double points and uh, you're also going to get of course um that extra five percent off which is beautiful Ro has sent us in some pictures which is lovely she sent us in the cascading hearts uh that you can see just here isn't that gorgeous now the next one combines the cascading circles and it also uh combines the staycation as well uh so really really beautiful you've got both elements within there um it's really busy actually already on the staycation every time we've had it on a show since we launched it it has actually been super busy so i think we'll just take you through some of the things you'll be able to do it is one of my favorite collections recently i think it's up there with the rose gold this one i really really love it because it is super modern i just love how different it is and it's wonderful for card projects great for scrapbooks wonderful for box frames as well so this is what you're getting there's your road trip that's your first stamp and die set that you're getting included in there that one's upside down <laughs> that one there is your life's a beach that one's also upside down are they all yeah it's only the top one that's the right <laughs> way around oh, what am i like let me just get that out of there for you there we go uh, so you can see here a happy camper which is that one just there wonderful for all of those camping things and then you've also got the simple life i love it that sort of retro 70s caravan that you've got in there the great thing about these is though when you start to use them as projects you can use absolutely loads with them so you can see here the papers uh, have been used. I'll take you through those papers in a minute. But again, because they are stamps and dice, however you colour these up means that you're all going to get something really different. I love the paper pad in there, the paper sheet that's got that purple background, that purple sky in there. Really gorgeous. Uh, and then you've got that lovely one there with the caravan on it as well. Talking about the paper pad, let me just take you through that. So details there on your screen are for the four-piece collection that I just showed you, £45 or $55. But you're also going to get this. This paper pad is wonderful. Now you can definitely use the paper pad of course with these stamps and dies but i think you'll use it on its own it's got loads of really cool backgrounds this one is my absolute favorite see you've got that's like a you know in the summer when you get that red sky at night type thing that's exactly what it looks like with all the stars really lovely 14.99 individually for the paper pad uh, or 17.95 if you're in the us christine mahoney in upstate new york her ears have no doubt just pricked up she has said paper pads uh, that lady is the queen of the paper pads uh <laughs> she's probably got three in a basket already uh you can see there 48 pages total 180 gsm 12 by 12 there as well which is fantastic now don't forget we're going to be doing the craft clinic in a little while make sure you get your questions into me over on facebook you can even email questions if you want to as well astrid says have i been dehorned i have been dehorned astrid it is no more it is gone uh, sarah is so excited she said she got confirmation today from the website uh, that she got crafter stuff on the way she's so happy four bundles plus an nativity collection pad plus two gold collection pads in two sizes two of each very very happy we are glad you're happy it's very late uh it's 20 past one in the morning almost over in melbourne where sarah she's a very dedicated uh, ctv viewer absolutely uh no horn new prep uh, prop i think i'm scared astrid says she's not going to get excited about the lack of the horn craig until she's worked out if the new prop is even noisier i don't think it's as noisy. a bit more friendly isn't it it's not as noisy it's just as annoying though let me tell you real that's the first time you've heard it. You know, we've been hearing it on and off for like the last couple of hours. So we'll let you decide. Is it as uh, noisy or is it annoying? Right, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, the edge bill again. We're going to use the elegant rose. But what we're going to do is we're going to do something that I absolutely love doing and that's paper piecing. So we're going to strip it right back. And what I've got is a card blank, which is four by six. So then what I'm just going to do is I'm just opening my card blank and I'm just popping it up against the top. So I'm just lining up my rows. So once again, a bit like the butterfly, your outside cutting edge goes all the way around the outside of the rows and then it stays in place in this side. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our tape. 
So we're going to just line that up and we're just going to cut that one out. So if we then just hold that just into place and I'm just lining it up just at the bottom and you can see that I've cut my card blank to the same uh, height as the actual die. You don't have to, you could have it larger if you want, but I've just done it to the size of my, uh, my uh, die. So then I'm just going to run this one through. Now this one that I am doing uh, will just go through your Gemini Junior if you wish to use your Gemini Junior with it. That's entirely up to you. So I'm just pressing it and then uh, going to reverse it. That's then going to just give it that nice little double cut. And then it's going to give us a nice edgeable of the card. Ashley's sure. saying it's like the Downton Abbey Butler's Bell is what it reminds us of. Anne says, without a doubt, better than the horn. Cecilia says it's not as loud. I hope it's not going to drive Barbie's cats mad as well. So fingers crossed. <laughs> So all that I've just done at the bottom, just where the paper still just connects, all that I'm just doing is just snipping it away, just neatening it up. There, that gives us that nice edge ball, which would look nice as it is that we can see just there. However, we're not finished there. We're going to take our die again and we're going to die cut another layer because we need um, a base, a layer to actually to do our paper piecing onto. So that's what we're going to do next. So let's just pop these wee bits out because we need to use the die again. So we need to make sure all the bits are out. So what I'm then just going to do, all these bits that uh, I have just discarded, they are all off white. Of course, you could keep a hold of them and use them to paper piece elsewhere. But what we're going to do just now is let's take, so I've got two bits of uh, cards. This is just our white smooth stamping card. And again, it's four inches by six inches. So it just basically, it's the same as uh, one side of the card blank. So one of them is going to stay whole. The other one, we're going to do exactly the same. We're just going to put stock and then we're just going to tape that one down. So that can go through. That will then layer on top of that bit of card. So I'm going to use um, our uh, glue applicator with our tacky glue within it. You could of course use if you've got the sticky sheets or if you've got uh, your own Brenda at home with your sprays, you could be using uh, that. But we will just use the applicator just to show you what I'm going to be doing. So let's peel this one off. So let's move that out of the way and remove this one. So again, we're just going to just neaten up that bottom bit and then that bit. So then what we're going to do is bringing in that card, bringing in just our glue. So this is just our uh, Colal Tacky glue. And all that I'm just going to do is just on all that detail, I'm just going to add some adhesive. So You'd spend a lot longer than I have. I have got one just to the side of me that's all glued into, pre pre into place. It's catching on me now, Joe. Oh, but I just yeah. wanted to show you exactly. I I'm fine now today, see. Uh, this afternoon, it was this morning I couldn't talk, couldn't get my words out whatsoever. Very busy for this Edgeable Collection, Craig. I think we knew people. Yeah. I think a lot of people have been waiting a really long time for this. A lot of you got it before we went live this afternoon. And loads of you coming in for it now as well. They are available, remember, individually. But you save 20% when you get them together. £38 as well, Craig, or $66 to get six Edgeable dies is incredible value for money, isn't it? When you it think is. about what you'd get out there from other brands and you, you know, remember the quality that we bring you at Crafts Companion. There we go. So all that I've just done there is just popped it on at the back. So this bit now just gives you a base to be able to pop your paper piece. I'm just going to bring this one in. Just this one is more secure with all the glue that I've placed on. Then what I've already done is I have taken my die and I've run this through two bits of cardstock. So I've run it through with some yellow and this is actually the waste piece and I've popped it through my Xyron and then I've also done it again with green and popped the green waste through with the Xyron as well. So this makes it all sticky. So all I'm going to do with my pokey tool is I'm just going to paper piece these bits back in. So exactly as you were saying Joe, they're so versatile. When you think of obviously the value for money, you know, you know in one set it's one die but all these different things that you can do, you know, it could be side edgeables, it could be over the top, you can cut into the middle of frames if you you want it to. You can do them at different angles, paper piece, spritz through them, stencils through them. You don't just have to use them as a, as a die that they're intended as. Absolutely, lots you're going to be able to do with them. And remember, if you need more inspiration, there's I think six or eight hours now of edible masterclasses available over on our website. So get yourself over there, craftscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. You'll find it all there 
under crafters tv uh, i do just need to give you a bit of a heads up what's happening as well for the rest of the week remember this members event is carrying on all weekend uh, tomorrow myself and sarah will be here we'll be here with you for double cartload uh, it's going to be such a special cartload we decided that we'd do a preview uh, tomorrow morning at 11 a.m here in the uk 6 a.m if you're on the east coast and the main event coming up at 4 p.m this time uh, tomorrow with myself and sarah we've got a launch day for you on friday in fact we've got a launch day for you on Friday and another launch day for you on Saturday as well uh, so really really busy with brand new launches we also have of course color me happy coming up uh, on Friday afternoon and that will be with our sparkle inks it's gonna be a really sparkly show that one got some great deals for you specifically as well uh, especially on the sparkle pens got a great deal coming up on that later in the week uh, and then Sunday second chance Sunday will be here as well and it'll be you and Debbie here this weekend you and Debbie on Saturday and you and Debbie on Sunday I know oh, it's, it's gonna, gonna be a gonna lot be of fun I cannot wait to see uh, Debbie unfortunately obviously can't give her a hug but it'll be good just to be able to be in the same room of her room as her at a distance and just have a have you a nice seen her yet up. since lockdown uh, I I seen her I think it was about two weeks before I came back out of isolation she ah. popped around she was here doing um, a crafters tv show and before she went home she stopped off at mine she brought me a gift of a yankee candle and ah. uh, we had a wee bit of a chat on uh, on the doorstep so that was a uh, good uh, number of weeks now so it'll be good just to see her again but uh in the building here yeah absolutely we love it when debbie uh, joins us here she's going to be here on saturday and sunday uh talking about the bell uh <laughs> monica's is not noisy but keep looking for a bicycle every time behind me every time <laughs> it rings um rose saying do we have to call you mr remblance now it sounds very regal like downton abbey you can call me mr remblance all the time if you are. i have no objection to that uh, whatsoever you make um, us call you that all the time <laughs> well paula puckett says sir remblance i mean if you want to go the whole hog paula um sarah says oh no you're not going to annoy my name now i used to quite enjoy you annoying my neighbors in the middle of the night with a horn <laughs> in melbourne can you imagine at like what half past one in the morning i bet they love that uh, hannah horn says when i hear the words horn i keep looking up i was known as the fog horn when i was younger oh wow uh but yeah loads of you saying i think it's definitely an improvement uh on the horn which i'm pleased to know we do have two different types of bells so you never know maybe we'll mix it up craig maybe you know you could do give it a shot and see what they look like together please just do that when it's a show that i'm not on i would very <laughs> much appreciate so all that i've just done there i'm not going to go and spend the rest of the time doing it you get the idea of what i've been doing but i've just been paper piecing them back in if you don't have a xyron machine you could just use your re-glue applicator and just pop them into place you're just picking up all the bits of waste and popping it back in so this is what it would look like and then all that i've just done is just taken a scallop die and i've just die cut just into there because this is actually going to be a wee pocket so if i pop these ones to the side then bring in this card blank that i'd already done just beforehand then I'm just going to bring in uh, our tape, taking that off onto the piece of pattern paper that I've got. Very spring-like this card's going to be. But of course you can uh, have it any colour that you want. If you want to have it winter themed, no reason you can't colour your rose in the paper winter themed. And then on the back here, I've put some red liner tape just round out these three sides, not onto this bit, because this is a bit is that's going to now allow you to have uh, the wee pocket. So let's take that one and take that one off. Pop this one in just to the side because what will also happen is it'll kind of also give it an extra overlay when you fold over. So then if we bring our uh, wee strip that I've just done, uh, run it through with a bit of an embossing folder that I've already got at home. And then I'm just peeling these ones off and then just finishing it off, we're just going to add that to the side just there. So if I pop that one on, just lift that one up pop it to the side and I'm just going to press that into place and then there we go we start to get that effect there oh, so if I, I love show that you piece through that it way, that's really interesting yeah so it's a different way or another way that you can have it looking as well so it gives you a bit of a, a shot if you close it completely you see how it's just off and no more obviously purposely but it gives you a bit of a shadow effect there but you can see there how that looks and then within that one there you've got that nice wee pocket you could maybe pop a gift card or voucher or that in there 
Oh, wonderful. Very, very busy now on that collection. Uh, Jane B over on YouTube says, Giddy is a kipper. Too funny. I'm going to borrow that gem. You're welcome to it, Jane. Uh, Cindy G is saying, uh, like who needs to go out in this heat when we can all just meet up here? A lovely place to meet. Isn't it just? There's not much heat to that. Well, actually, having said that, do you know, it's going to be... It's pretty, I mean, it's warm for the northeast, let's say that. Uh, it, but on Friday, it is going to be 27 degrees Celsius in the northeast. Who knows what the temperature will be down south? Probably in the 40s, I reckon. Uh, Diane uh, also says, my classic Marcus collection came yesterday. Can't wait uh, to play with them today. How wonderful. Keep letting me know what you're up to in the comments. But remember, get any questions that you've got into me over on Facebook, because we're going to open that craft clinic in a little while. Right, uh, I want to take you back through this edgeable collection. Really, really busy here. Now, the first one you've got in here is the butterflies, which is absolutely gorgeous always so useful and so versatile you've then got the the roses in here now the roses are fantastic because they're great for paper piecing you just saw that technique that uh, craig done there they're also uh, great for things like stained glass window techniques you've got the cascade cascading circles in there really really beautiful and uh, you've got the heart confetti do you know what craig i bet the bits that come out of that work beautifully con for confetti i'd imagine absolutely you mm. could do could you imagine yeah die kind of into cardstock but maybe some vellum or maybe some of your luxury card as well then you've got your confetti in there or shaker elements for your shaker cards oh yes love the idea uh, you've also got the cupcake which is this one just here that's coming included as well and you've got the balloons too it's not a choice you get all six of them for that price which makes them amazing uh, value for money uh, you really are great you're looking at what just over uh, six pounds per die there in the UK which is brilliant and remember you're all going to get an extra five percent off on top of your club inspired discount and you're going to get those double points and everyone that spends over £40 or $40 in one transaction will get, oh yes, the coveted, the esteemed, the totally fashionable, uh, exclusive uh, members event tote bag. Keep calm and craft on. Spend over £40 or $40 after your uh, discount, you'll get that. Anne said as well, over on um, Facebook, she said, well, how about if I did a transaction today for over £40 or dollars, and then I came back and did one on Saturday. If there were still some bags left, would I get another one? You would. If you did four or five separate transactions, you'd get four or five different uh, four or five of the bags uh, which is fantastic but it is while stocks last so i'm not sure it will last uh, for the entirety of the weekend remember that hero tool really busy on that the hero tool we always bring one to you here on creative cravings if you're new to crafting it's a tool that we think you cannot live without or a collection of them in this case you've got our fantastic six inch, six inch scissors here you've also got our pokey tools and we're going to give you as well one of the uh, edge crimpers or edge distressors that you've got there. Twelve ninety nine to get all of that, or nineteen dollars seventy nine, which is fantastic. Now, I can see uh, a lot of you waiting for an opportunity checkout, so I'm going to give that to you now. Uh, now, whilst you do that, let's share with you all the details of how you can watch and shop at the same time. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV, and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Oh, the details there of how you can watch and shop at the same time. Very, very busy start to this Creative Craving show. Uh, and uh, well, it pleases me now because we're going to go back to, uh, or have a look at, I should say, one of my favourite collections that we've brought to you recently here on Crafters TV. It is, of course, the Staycation uh, stamps and dies that you've got. They are absolutely fantastic. I think they're incredible value for money considering you get all of them for £45 or $55. Remember, no one's going to pay that price, so are they? Because you're all going to get an extra 5% off as standard then you're going to be able to use 
of course, your club inspired discount with that as well. And you'll get the double points. And also with that one, probably, some of you might need to pop something else extra in your basket uh, as well. But get yourself over that £40 or $40 spend and you get that free tote. Now, let's go through them. They're available individually as well. Details there on your screen for the individuals. You've got the Simple Life, and I love this one in here. You've got the caravan, uh, you've got the uh, bicycle in there, the barbecue, the sunshine. It's all there. That's beautiful summer holiday, isn't it? Right there. You've then got all the stamps as well that you need to stamp up onto the die cut element but also to create a full sentiment and project as well, which is brilliant. So you've got it there. You've also got Road Trip. Love that Winnie Bago there. You've got a paddling pool. You've got um, some mountains and the moon and some picket fencing, a flamingo. I reckon that looks like an inflatable flamingo to me. I bet that is going in the pool, no doubt at all. Uh, Life's a Beach is the next one that you're getting. Love that ice cream truck that you've got there. Robin and Marilyn were saying in the comments a minute ago, she thinks that the ice cream truck noise sounds a bit creepy. Really? I'd never thought of it like mm. that. My producer, Laura, agrees it is a little bit creepy. Mm. Uh, you've got that sun lounger there. You've got that lovely uh, beach house or beach hut on there too, which is brilliant. And you've also got Happy Camper, uh, which is this one here. So you've got the lovely tent. It's very sort of like a uh, um, forest camping trip, isn't it? I love that. Even got a little guitar or ukulele in there as well. It's going to make beautiful, beautiful projects. Talking about beautiful projects that it makes, uh, in order to make beautiful projects, you'll be able to make beautiful projects without it, but I think I would definitely urge you to go for that paper pad as well, because the paper pad is divine. 48 sheets within here, which is brilliant. Loads of great backgrounds. That one there, uh, that blue and purple one, is my absolute favourite. But again, you don't need to use this with a staycation. You could use this for a whole host of different crafting. It's got beautiful, uh, beautiful background pattern papers in there for you. 14.99 or 17.95. And when you go for that, what you're able to do is make really, really beautiful projects like this one. This one is one of my absolute favourite projects, this one here. See that paper? It's been used. Someone's put a few little gems uh, on there and then also use that camping one as well you've then got this one here which i love with that caravan in there and you've got uh the life's a beach one here too which is absolutely beautiful really love that one actually i'm underselling that one there we are that one is at a twisted easel really lovely hannah horn was saying in the comments as well she's got these and she absolutely loves them i just think they're very contemporary and fresh and modern which is why i think they've been so busy uh there are all available individually, as we said, but the collection far away, uh, the busiest uh, item uh, for those, which is fantastic. Lots of you already gone for these in this show. I think it's just, uh, I think they're very unique, aren't they, these, uh, Craig? And the projects you create with them, you can make them look and feel very different, but they've still got that style to them, which I love. 100%, you're spot on there saying you can make them look completely different every single time. What it is as well is you can change it just by changing uh, one of the positions, the angles, you know you're going to get a different uh, style every single time. So there we go, there's a, a larger card when it comes to being a DL shape on that one just there. Build in the scenes yourself if you want when it comes to uh, the images in the background. But of course these stamps allow you to build scenes yourself. You get the stamps and you get the dies. So you can completely change the size if you so wish. But then look at all these different styles. What about doing any movable cards as well? You can see just there. So you can have it so it's actually moving as well. Really, really co cool. You can of course create your own backgrounds yourself if you want with your inks however if you don't always feel comfortable doing that that's the great thing about the paper pad just bring in a few mats and layers the paper pads done for you whether it's daytime nighttime you've got all these different styles it can look completely different whether you're using that large camper van or that rv but depending on the paper or the uh, background that you use again it can look a completely different uh, style or a different place you know one style could be here in the uk one style could be uh, across in the state somewhere different things you can make in your concepts and all that as well but yeah just have so much fun place all the images in different places see where you can uh, come out with all your creative style why not pop maybe some of those velcro strips that you get and maybe put them on a velcro background and then you know your small kiddies and that can have a play and peel them off and move them about and that really are so much fun and again use them on your cards use them within your memory books or why not use something like we're going to show you later on and use them in your pop-up box Wonderful. Yeah, there's loads that you can do with them. You guys absolutely love them. Terry's saying uh, there's a lot of people uh, from Ohio watch these shows. Therefore, Crafts Companion should go to, the, to go to Cleveland for the Craft Expo. I'd be up for that, wouldn't you? Sign me up. I'm there. I'm ready to go. I'll ask Sarah. I'm with her all day tomorrow. So I think uh, I will put it to her. 
I can't see it happening, though, to be fair, just to, you know, manage expectation uh, and all that. Uh, very, very busy on those staycation uh, dies. They are fantastic. £45 or $55. Don't forget, get your crafty questions into me over on Facebook, over on the Crafters TV Facebook Live. I am there chat, chat, chatting away in the comments if you want to come and join me uh, over there. If you've got the staycation collection and you've produced some beautiful things with it, we'd love to see them. Uh, studio at craftscompanion.co.uk is where you need to send those pictures in into. Uh, right, which one of these are you going to treat us to a demo with, Craig? We are going to use the Simple Life, something that many of us uh, would love to experience. So within this one, as Joe says, you get the dies and you get the stamps as well. So if I show you the stamps to start with, you can see this great selection of stamps that you get, of images that you can see all together. Now all of these key main images, so your, uh, your caravan, your plants, your backgrounds, your, your bikes, your sun, you all get the coordinated dies to go with them as well. So of course, if you like to do your stamping and layering, and use the stamps on their own but you do get the uh, dies to go with them now what you can do something that I do a lot is I tend to die cut the images first and then uh, stamp however what you can do is if you bring in those rocker blocks I'm going to show you how you can also just stamp them first then die cut them it's an absolute personal preference for yourself so I've got some of uh, our Nina because I'm going to be colouring it in with our uh, Classic markers. So what I'm going to do is, let's pop the caravan into place and I'm just going to press that into place. And I'm using our alcohol proof uh, Noir Black. So obviously I'm not going to stamp all of them but we'll stamp a fair few out just to show you what they'll look like. So let's just give that a nice stamp and I'm just making sure I've got nothing on the edges. And then all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to rock with my rocker block and then we get that impression just there. Laurie's, come, then, up with, Laurie's come up with a wonderful idea in the comments, Craig. She says, why not make a scene with these stamps and then cut them out with a puzzle die? What now, a that's idea. a great idea. Love that's a that. really good idea. And that's actually one of the dies that I've not even seen yet. Mm. So I know we've uh, we've got it. I'll need to uh, hunt one down. Uh, yes. I'll actually, I'm not back here until uh, Saturday. I am working, but from home. Uh, I'm not back in the office till uh, Saturday, so I'll maybe need to have a wee look then. I reckon you could have a good old rummage at the back, and I reckon we could hook you up with one, Craig. Uh, Cynthia says as well, well, if you're coming over to Cleveland for the expo, you may as well stay and go to Stamping Up in Cincinnati, Ohio, as well, <laughs> while you're here. Why not? You know, one air for uh, two craft shows. Uh, Susan says this set is super cute. Uh, Cecilia talking about making pop-up pop-up boxes with these, Craig, or using these dies for that, which is a great a great idea. Mm, she's maybe uh, tuned into the future. She knows what's really? coming up later on in, uh, in the Ooh. show. Watch this space. Wonderful. If you want to get the pop-up box die that is available on the show, as well as all of the Christmas uh, pop-up box dies as well, the stamps and dies, but the main sort of body of the die is available. So if you did want to get a couple of these staycation dies and then go for the pop-up box die, uh, you could definitely uh, get that to all work together. So all that I'm doing now, Joe, is I've taken some of my classic pens and I'm just going to colour in a few bits. I've got them all coloured in, but I just want to show you just a few and then we'll die cut it. What I'm doing just with these ones is I'm not uh, doing any of the shadowing or any of the blending. But of course you absolutely can if you so wish, but you don't have to. It's just all about having the fun, seeing what colours you can come up with, see what designs you can come up with, the layouts, all these different things that you could be doing just to have fun. A great thing for, uh, certainly here in the UK with the this, this school summer holidays, I know many have been off for uh, longer than that anyway, but just something to pass the time, then you could be doing it, you could be playing games with them as well. So Ooh. just doing these wee bits in and then we'll die cut just a couple of these just to show you how well that the die cut. I bet loads of people will be having staycations this year as well. Craig. I tell you what, if you're having a staycation, let us know where you're off to on your staycation. Uh, I have just changed a <laughs> bit of a difference, Craig. I'm not going to Barcelona now in a few weekends. I'm going to Newcastle upon Tyne instead for the weekend. All so right. uh, producer Laura knows where she would rather be. I'm not sure where that is. Where would you rather be, Laura? She'd rather be on the toon, apparently, <laughs> which is a Newcastle uh, for anyone that's not from this part of the world. <laughs> so what I'm just doing now is if I take the die sets that coordinate with them, so let's take the caravan one off. So you can see you can just place that just over the top 
and I'm just going to use a bit of low tack tape and uh, hold it into place. So these are still our wafer thin dies, so these will go through your uh, junior as well. And many of them will also go through your uh, Gemini Go or your Mini. And in fact, I remember when I first launched these here in the UK, they all go through your Gemini Go or your Mini. So you can know that you don't have to have a large machine. Oh, great. It might be lovely if you're doing a little projects sort of on the go or out and about. Exactly. Or taking, maybe you're going to take a pro craft project on your staycation. Yeah. Maybe you're going to craft staycation on your staycation, Craig. That's it. Exactly. You can do that. This is a nice wee collection. So it doesn't take much room. So you can just pop it into your bag or your case, whatever you're uh, popping your crafty stash into, and then know that you'll be able to take it to, you know, your caravan or your home, wherever it is that you're going. Fantastic. A lot of people talking about using them in memory books as well is another different way that I hadn't personally thought about. Caroline says staycation she says you i could document my trip to glastonbury and camping etc there you go. Using that's them. a good idea yeah Lovely it really idea is that. a good way to uh, capture the memories whether it is of course uh, scrapbook page memory books anything like that because what that just means is uh, you can um yeah, keep the memories alive and you can match the theme as to what you are die cutting uh, to your holiday or your trip or where it is that you have been. So Absolutely. it's a good way of doing that. Sally Bond's a lucky sausage because she says, I live on the coast in North Devon, so every day is a staycation. <gasps> Sounds lovely. You should invite us around for invite us around for lunch. We'd love that, wouldn't we, Craig? That would be really good. I really love that. <laughs> so Anne says she thought a staycation meant you just stayed at home. <laughs> no, it, well, I guess it, it doesn't do it. Yeah, it's yeah. about kind of having a holiday locally. So you'd go, you know, a few hours drive away or something like that, rather than maybe travelling internationally. That would be a really dull holiday if you just stayed at home. We're going on holiday. Where are you going? Nowhere. Just going to stay in. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, could you imagine? There we go. So if I bring it, so you can see how we've stamped and die cut them. And then, of course, you know, we're not going to sit as much as we'd love to and colour them all. But just so you can see, I have sat earlier on, well, it was last night, and coloured all these bits out. So this is where you can have fun. You can then start to position them. So I'm going to pop them just onto here so that you could see. And I've just got my card blank uh, to the side of me. So you can see these ones just there. So let's bring in a card blank. This one I've just kept quite uh, simple so you can see how you can build your design. So it's just craft card that I have uh, used to make my card blank. So let's just take the back end off of these ones. Now using the paper pads, you can snip into them and you can start to create signs even with the paper pads. So for instance, this one, I've taken that tree silhouette background with the sky. And then what I've done is I've taken this one, which would look to be grass, this layer I've kept on one level with double-sided tape and this one I'm just lifting it slightly and then all what we're going to do is we're going to have fun now. This is where you can start to have a play, see where you want to position them. You can start to build where you're wanting all these ones to go. So we could be popping them into there. There's nothing stopping you from moving that to there, maybe I, uh, having the bike in the front. The paper pad is just gorgeous, isn't it? It is, it is. And again, I know I keep saying fun, Joe, but it really is. You know, imagine, you know, you can just move that out to the side and then just go, right, let's start again. Let's pop that one there. Let's pop that at the side there. You know, you can have all the fun just uh, having a place. I've had an idea, Craig. I've oh, had an idea. What's that? I don't know if these dies will be, uh, will be, um, thick enough to do it. But you know our magnetic sheets? Yes. Do you reckon these dies would cut through those magnetic sheets? Uh, majority of them will actually, yeah. 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 So I've had an idea what you could do is for like a kids play type thing, you could actually cut, use the dies to cut the magnetic sheet, then colour the card, cut the card and put it on the magnets. You could. And then they could just like make a scene on a magnetic sheet and just like move all the holiday scene around. Might exactly. be fun. Just a bit like uh, saying earlier on when uh, we were using uh, the uh, foam or the Velcro strips, anything yeah. like that, you could be doing that too. You don't could just have these think, all on your fridge maybe. Yeah. You don't mm. just have to think of uh, card and paper. Think of all these different mediums as, uh, that would uh, die cut and use as well. So all that I'm just doing is I'm now just starting to assemble these bits. I've got a few more so we can start to assemble these ones. So some I'm keeping on one level with my wet glue. Others I've just lifted with some foam pads. So we'll just press them ones. So we'll just hold that one into place. So very dimensional as well. Of course, you can keep it on one level if you want. There's no reason why you have to use uh, all the layers in uh, dimension with your foam pads. However, you know me by now. I do love my uh, dimension. 
So let's just even bring in our picnic table. And it's you can build upon or build scenes upon scenes. So there's our picnic table. Then we can start to even build upon that, that picnic table. So if we then bring, oh, it's fallen right into my bin. Can I find it? Here we go. Managed to get it. You've been bin diving Whew, down there. We've been diving there, yeah. <laughs> Want my uh, picnic box. So there we go. I'm just going to press that into place. So we've now got the picnic table uh, set in. We've got our picnic basket on top. Let's bring our wee flowers to the side. Finish off just with a couple of other ones. Actually, do you know what? Let's take that one off again. And we're going to pop it on in a moment. But what I've done is we've got even the tablecloth. So uh, let's pop that on. Producer Laura is saying, Craig, that it just needs a really wet dog in the corner. And that would be her staycation pretty much to a tee. <laughs> but then why not bring in maybe you've got some uh, doggy stamps doesn't have to be ours at crafters companion it could be other ones incorporate that into your stash as well you could be doing all of that maybe just uh, peeking out the side there peeking out from under the chair it really is so much fun just by the time that you've finished off playing with what uh, designs and layouts you're you going to come what with you could do you know that shih tzu stamp that we had this morning yeah you could stamp that on a bit of shrink plastic There's and then an idea. do that and pop it on the front of there yeah you could do I always find shrink plastic magical. I've only seen it demoed a few times. I it's it's, a, it's an, a, a magical product, that's for sure. It's one of those that does uh, gets the, the heart pumping as soon as you start to see that start to melt. But it is fun and you could absolutely incorporate that. It is beautiful. That's another gorgeous creation. And the thing that I love about these, every single time I see projects made from these, they are just absolutely stunning. April, in fact, has been sending us in some pictures of what she's been creating. And look at these. You've got a gorgeous paper pad in the background, another paper pad in the foreground there. She sent us a few different ones in, all equally gorgeous. What do you make of these, Craig? They're lovely, aren't they? Oh, I love that. Look at that, even popping the ice cream on top of the, the van, having <laughs> that ice lolly just at the side as well. So that goes, it goes to show again how you can build upon the images. Uh, like like we've seen in the ice cream van. Look at that. Nice, wee traditional uh, camper. I love that stamp as well. Eat, sleep and camp. Really, yeah. really good. <laughs> uh, now, let me just run you through exactly what you are getting included in here. So you're going to get the four stamp die sets. Now, these are the really quite fabulous bit. These are the bit that are going to allow you to get all of that wonderful uh, stamps and die cut imagery. So you've got lots of different options in here for you. You've got Happy Camper, which is that one. That's kind of like a, a weekend camping in the forest, which I love. This one here is the it's the simple life for all of you caravanners out there. Our Leanne would love this one, I think, Craig. I think uh, with, she would. Oh, also got the road trip, which is, oh, I love the idea of going around the States in a Winnebago <laughs> is definitely a lovely idea. Uh, and you can see, you can recreate that there. I love the cute little uh, table and chairs here as well. Really, really lovely. And then finally, the other one we got is Life's A Beach, uh, which is gorgeous. You can see you've got your ice cream van. You've got the beach hut there as well. Uh, there's absolutely loads there for you too. Now, also remember, you've got the paper pad that goes along with the uh, staycation collection. So let's just have a little look through that because it is an absolutely gorgeous one. Of course, works wonderfully with your staycation. You could use it on its own without too. Lots of really beautiful pattern papers for you to work with in there. $14.99 or $17.95 if you want to grab hold of that one. Right, something else. Me and Craig actually had the pleasure of launching these uh, and they were incredibly busy. It is our pop-up boxes uh, stamp and die collection. That's our festive one, which is great. There's a paper pad that goes with it, which I'm going to share with you in a minute. But firstly, I want you to see the different designs that you're able to make with this. So in the big collection, uh, you're going to get the following. This one just here, that one is your, that is your Christmas cottage that you've got there with the uh, beautiful reindeer on there we've also got this one very traditional christmas this next one here this one here is your away in a manger which is gorgeous you've then got also the poinsettia one here which looks absolutely fantastic there as you can see the next one we've got i think this is my favorite and i think it was your favorite too when we launched it it is the gingerbread one it is gorgeous uh, my producer laura absolutely loves that one she's very partial to a gingerbread man uh, our laura let me just bring that back there a bit so you can see it excuse me uh, there we go so you can see all of that gorgeous detailing uh, that you've got in there and then what we've also got here is we've got uh, this one which is your uh, Santa one Santa and Rudolph as you can see there as well really really beautiful projects that you're able to make with them now if you want to go for them you can uh, and what you're going to get in there of course is you're going to get all of that you're also going to get 
uh, the paper pad in here as well. Now the paper pad, again, beautiful, designed to work uh, wonderfully in conjunction with your pop-up boxes. And it's festive themed. Now, like I said with the staycation one, you could just use this for general Christmas crafting if you wanted to go for this on its own. It is available individually. It's $12.99 or $19.95 uh, on its own. I love the candy canes there. Uh, and again, it's got those really lovely Christmas tones all the way through it. The candy canes are absolutely definitely my favorite ones in here. So that's included in there as well. What you're also going to get is you're going to get a two pack of the rocker blocks in there as well, which is fantastic. So definitely go for those. What you'll need as well, of course, if you want to make the boxes, you would, oh dear, you will need uh, the die, which creates the base for the boxes. And that is available $14.99 or $19.95 if you want to go for that on its own. Uh, and that is it there individually, as you can see. Uh, oh no, that's the uh, stamps and dies uh, there. Uh, that's the one that you're after. $24.99, $39.95. Uh, that is what's going to make the core structure of your box. So the actual box itself. Now, I know a lot of you maybe have already gone for it or you're thinking, Joe, do you know what? I'm sold. I want to go the whole hog. Is there even more when it comes to pop-up boxes? Absolutely, uh, there is. Because the snowman is not in the large bundle, but it is available as part of, uh, as an extra one. The reason the snowman's not in the big bundle is because we have significantly less of the snowman. So uh, we, if you want to get hold of it, you will have to buy it separately, $14.99 or $19.95. You can mix and match with the other ones, including the snowman. So if you wanted to go for, I don't know, the snowman and the gingerbread house, for instance, you could get the two for 26 or 26 pounds or 35 dollars it's completely up to you make sure you get yourself up to though that 40 pound or 40 dollar spend because let's face it you want to be high fashion uh, in your tote bag because remember spend over 40 pounds or 40 dollars after your discount and everyone will get the exclusive members event tote bag totally free of charge however it is only while stocks last so the event runs all the way up until the end of sunday however i'm not sure we've got enough stock of the bag to uh, keep the deal going throughout the entirety of the weekend. Remember also, because it is members event, you're gonna get an extra 5% off. That means platinum members, you are getting a whopping almost 25% off uh, your purchases this week, which is fantastic all over the weekend, and double points as well. So if you're maybe gold or silver, silver or gold, and you're eyeing gold or platinum, maybe this is going to be the week that gets you up to that next level in the club. Very busy across everything that you've seen so far in the show. I'm gonna dive back into the comments because there's loads of you are commenting away. Keep getting your questions into me as well for Craft Clinic, because I'm desperate to use the props. They are fabulous. Uh, what do you wanna share with us next, Craig? Right, so we're going to stick along the lines of the staycations. However, we're going to incorporate the pop-up box that you could get with the Christmas collection. However, what we're going to do is use that with the staycation dies. So you'll see what I mean in a moment. So let's go for it. So this is the actual element. So if you're wanting to create your pop-up boxes with the Christmas, this is the one that you're going to need. However, you can use this for other collections like we're about to show you in a moment. So this actually enables you to create the pop-up element. So if I take this one off, this is the main die in itself. So this one you're going to die cut twice. So what we'll do is we will show you this demo. Then when we come to show you the Christmas one later, I will run a box through just to see how it actually comes out once it's cut. But this lets you see, this is what gives you the actual pop-up box. Then you've got all these additional mats and layers that all fit on. And then you've got this one here. Now this is what creates the wee tabs on the inside. Again, I'll wait to show you that just in a second. So if you've maybe not seen these before and you're thinking, hmm, I quite fancy making my own uh, pop-up elements, but I want that pop-up box, then uh, here you go, this is how you use them. So I've already die cut two of them, and like I say, later on we will actually run them through to let you see what you actually do with them. So all that I'm just doing is if I fold that one over, you've got your score lines, and then on each one you've got a wee tab. So all that I've just done is pop some red liner tape. If you use your red liner tape or your uh, wet tacky glue, that would uh, that'll hold it in completely. So all that I'm then just going to do is if I just peel that one off, then I'm just going to just match that one up just to the side. So if I press that one on and just match that one and then hold in that, fold in this one over. So once again, what we're going to do is if I peel that one off and then I'm going to fold that one over. Now this is what's going to give you that pop-up box. So this gives you that element that we can see just there. But then what I'm going to do is one of them, if I fold forward and then the two sides, I'm going to fold that one over and then I'm going to fold that one over. And as you can see, 
This is now how it starts to come together. So you can see that just there, this is now your pop-up element starting to come. So then what I'm going to do, I need to die cut three of those wee tabs that I just showed you that comes within the box set as well. So that's three of those ones. And then on each end, because you've got the wee line there that you just fold it over, you just pop some, again, red liner tape or some of your wet glue. So let's just peel those ones off. Now you will find within the actual box that we've just assembled, there are set three little score lines on each side. And that just shows you where to position those wee slots. So if we then hold that one on, so I'm going, I'm going to try and do it maybe side on so that you can see the, the wee uh, embossed lines are just in at the side, just there. So all that I'm going to do is the edge of one of them, I'm just going to match up to that line and then I'm just going to press that into place to know it's secure. And then exactly the same on the other side, I'm just going to match that other one to the other side, and we're going to press that into place. So you can see now, there is the first one. So if I tip that one forward, there we go. You can see there is the first one. So then if we just go ahead and just do the other two, because again, you get another uh, two uh, embossed lines with inside to let you see and to guide where you're going to pop them. So let's just take that one off and then comes the fun bit of decorating. So a lot of the pop-up boxes that I've made, I like to create them just using white card or craft card and then decorate them. But if you've got thick cardstock at home, there's nothing stopping you from creating your pop-up box using all your different cardstocks. So let's just pop that one on into there. And again, just turning it around, I'm just going to match that one up to the emboss line and then let's take this last one so once again we're just going to pop that one just to the emboss line you can do this part before you assemble it but I actually find it easier to actually assemble it and then pop it together so you'll see now so there we go inside that gives us our wee line so that's just going to help us to actually attach all the pop-up elements and it does fold flat that you can see just there so there we go, so that's those ones. So then what we can do is, using these nesting dies that you also get within the actual set, although you can use them and cut them yourself using your guillotine, but I've already die cut them into our paper pad. So we've got these ones, so let's just quickly add all these layers on, and then you can see how it all starts to come together. Loads of people chatting away. Uh, Karen Ann says, staycation bundle is ordered. Uh, Diane says, producer Laura, message for producer Laura, I love gingerbread things also. At Christmas, I do my whole house in and out in gingerbread. <gasps> wow. Right. Diane, you need to let us know where you are and we can see if we can, uh, you know, I think Laura says she will, you know, she'll cross oceans for it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, lots of you saying uh, how much you love the pop-up box dies. Hannah Horn saying that she absolutely loves them. Uh, Susan says the snowmen are the bomb. I'm waiting for mine to arrive any day now. Can't wait. Uh, also, Anne saying how much she loves the snowmen as too. Sonia loving the snowmen also. Cecilia's just got a order place and has a tote bag coming, which is uh, fantastic. Um, oh, <laughs> Cindy Sue. Cindy Sue's very cheeky in the comments. She's always she's always there providing a smile. Uh, Sonia says the show is so busy, Joe, because it's all awesomeness. It really is. It, it is. is all thriller and no filler, as I like to say. Uh, this show. Uh, Shadia saying, what more surprises are available for the rest of the week, Joe? Well, you'll just have to tune in and see. There's incredible deals coming up though tomorrow on Double Cartload. So make sure you join us back here for that. And also launch day on Friday and launch day on Friday. So, uh, Hang on, that didn't make any sense, did it? <laughs> a launch day on Friday and a launch day on Saturday. Saturday, this is the one that comes after Friday, uh, Joe. That's right. Um, Sonia said she's end up buying two worker dies because she can uh, have one cutting uh, and then getting the next one ready at the same time. That's uh, a really good idea. Sounds yeah. like a great idea. Cindy Sue wants to know, what is our favourite Christmas cookie, Craig? See, me, it's in and white chocolate anything white chocolate so would it be um, like a cookie with like a raspberry and white chocolate cookie would that absolutely, work absolutely yeah yeah as long as it's got white chocolate yeah but maybe a, a raspberry or some sort of fruit within it would work well or for cranberry me. and white chocolate is quite delicious, yeah that's isn't really it? nice that is really nice that one Mm. Uh, lots of you telling me what you've ordered lots of me letting you know uh, lots of you letting me know that you've got that tote bag as well Karen is asking where do I send pictures to you send them Karen to studio at crafterscompanion.com 
www.co.uk details there along the bottom of your screen we love it uh when you send us uh, your pictures wanda saying hi joan craig does the additional five percent come off during checkout is the price shown on the individual items once you log in great question uh, and i don't know the answer to that but i will find out for you um white chocolate macadamia nut cookies for uh, susan they sound absolutely mm, they delicious sound really susan. Nice. Uh, what i can tell you though is the tote bag it does just appear when you hit that 40 dollars spend so i would imagine uh that um it is the same with the five percent but i'll check out whether it comes off at checkout or wherever it is there uh, when you log in we will let you know about that uh hello from virginia donna saying sorry she's late donna it's it's uh it's two minutes past five where have you been we've missed you uh, we really have that's come together very quickly that craig so these wee bits here that i was just uh, popping in i just freehand cut those out just to enhance those wee straps within the middle and it just gives a bit more of a sand look you know and a lot more dimension to it now you, you've seen me just uh, stamping and die cutting beforehand so here's some of them that i've already stamped out then all that you would just do is come along and die cut them or as i say you can die cut first then stamp whatever you feel so then what i've just done is if I bring all of these ones that I have already just uh, coloured in and got ready to layer up. So that's all that you would do to start with is just stamp and, and die cut and colour and then this is the fun bit. So we can start to layer these all up. So if I bring mine back in, so let's bring our two houses. Now the uh, the idea of the pop-up box, as you'll see with the Christmas, is you can start to actually uh, have for all these suspending with acetate. Now with this one, within this collection, I'm going to turn it this way because it'll be there, it'll go easier for me. I'm going to try not pop my head in the way. And all that I'm going to do is layer up. So yes, you can use strips of acetate so you can have it suspended in midair or you can just have them flat. So all that I'm just going to do is build them. So you're going to be again having some in the background, some in the foreground, and then this one here. So what I've done is the deck chair and your uh, parasol umbrella, they're actually two separate ones, but I have just popped them on a strip of acetate and then I've just popped some of our double-sided tape or red liner tape. And then what I'm going to do is if I then pop this one just to the side and then that's, let's pop it down slightly just so it's over that sand that I have uh, cut out. Then what I'm going to do is we've got our wee sand castles. So there's so much detail in here. Yes, you have some large detail when it comes to obviously the beach huts, the parasol, but then you've got all these really nice dinky wee details. So you've got your wee bucket and spade and your sand castles. So we're just going to pop them into place. Terry and says she has better luck, Craig, if she starts from the front, not the back, and she can't work out why. It's entirely up to yourself. You'll start to get a flow. You'll start to find out if it's easier to work at the back and then go to the front. A bit like you'll find it easier whether you stamp first and then die cut or die cut and then stamp. Have a try of both and just see what you feel comfortable and uh, just go from there. You might find it easier to go from the back to the front. It's entirely up to yourself. So then all that I'm just going to do again is if I just take all these wee parts just here so we've got some of the sun as well so we can pop the sun there then we've got all these extras let's bring in the stamp set relax and enjoy yourself so that could be popped on to the front then we've got some ice cream cone so let's bring this one at one level we'll use some of our glue so we can have them poking out if you want these could just be little accents on cards you don't have to use them all as one full um, pop-up element or staycation element it could just be that you're uh, mixing and matching some in with your card making so take another few looking really really beautiful uh, there craig um i do like the beach stamp set and she's really really loving the beach one as so many people are. I think that little beach hut is gorgeous as well. If you've ever been down to somewhere like Norfolk, Craig, in the UK, they have beaches with so many of those cute little huts on them. They really are lovely. The thing with uh, any of these stamps, but especially something like the beach hut, Joe, is if you're an experienced stamper, if maybe you got the Pebio drawn gum on our uh, masterclass show earlier on today, you could start to add all these extra dimension. You could use the beach hut on its own and start to create all your own scenes. It's entirely up to you. So just think how else you could be using the sets that don't have to be uh, worked in conjunction with each other. If you want to use them separate, then you can do. 
So let's just finish these last few. We've even just got a tiny, tiny wee bird. So we can have the bird even just sit in. Where can we have it? Let's have it sit in so it's just underneath just there. And then I've got one more ice lolly. Let's pop the ice lolly on again, just at the side, just so it's poking out, maybe even at next to the beach beach ball there we go so then oh it's fallen off we'll pop that back on later but then there we go so we've started to create our own scene so the staycation collection which originally wasn't intended to be used with a pop-up box however there's no reason that you can't use it with yours and remember as well it will fold flat if you want to pop it into an envelope Oh, wonderful. They are so versatile. You guys absolutely loving these. Remember as well, if you went for the staycation and you also went for the paper pad as well, you would be able, that would take you over that $40 spend or pound spend with your 5% discount as well. Really, really busy there. Let me just recap exactly what you're getting included there as well. Uh, £45, $55 to get you all four of the staycation stamp die sets there, as you can see. So you've got uh, the beach, you've got uh, the caravan the camping uh, and you've got that lovely Winnebago there as well you can get them of course as individuals if you would prefer to get them individually 14.99 or 17.95 each two of them 25 pounds or 35 dollars now that box worker die the great thing is with these of course you could of course with the box worker die what you can do is you can actually bring in other elements from your stash that you already have and turn those into Wonderful box dies. Absolutely, that's something you can do. $24.99, $39.95. Uh, if you want to go for the Christmas box size collection with all five of the stamp die sets and the rocker blocks and that paper pad in there as well, £85 or $99 is your price. Saving you $12.93 in the UK, saving you $34.73 if you are in the US. Club Inspire Platinum members. Well, I was about to say Club Inspire Platinum members, you'll get that for... Uh, an extra £17 off, but you'll get even more often than that, won't you? Because, of course, you're going to get 5% off first, and then you'll get an extra 20% off of that as well. Absolutely loads there for you. Let me just run you through a few samples of what you're going to be creating with these uh, box dies. So I'll start with the gingerbread one which is this one just here. It's absolutely gorgeous. It really, really is. I know it's my favourite one. I know it's a lot of you guys' uh, favourite one as well. You've then got this one here with a beautiful stag on there as well, which is gorgeous. You've then got Santa and Rudolph uh, coming in there too. There's a way in a manger. The way in a manger, I love it because it's nativity, so it's very, very traditional, but it's also quite modern at the same time. I think it's a really good combination of the two there. And then obviously your favorite Christmas flower is always that poinsettia and that is what you've got there the gorgeous poinsettia 85 pounds or 99 dollars right you know what the time is don't you sorry I'm just running off because it's time oh yes it's time for our new toy I love it Craig's like oh no it's better than the horn though Craig surely no no you don't think so no. oh I think it's I more annoying maybe how is See, that annoying? That, that the horn gives me a fright, the bell doesn't, the bell's just annoying. Yeah, it goes through, yeah. Oh, there's just no pleasing some people, is there? <laughs> uh, well, I can get you another, I've got a different type of bell, maybe we'll mix the bell up. I think people seem, uh, uh, <laughs> people seem to like the bell much more than the horn, is what I'm getting uh, from the uh, comments here. Uh, Joe, <laughs> uh, no, I should say, oh, you rang my lord. It is very Downton Abbey, isn't it? Lots of you saying as well how much uh, you are loving the show and everything you're going for. Right, five in five then, Craig. Five products, five minutes, five fabulous deals. Are you ready? Are you poised and ready to go? He is. He's doing some sort of semi-floss there uh, in preparation, which I love. Right, are you ready, Craig? Three, yes. two, one... <laughs> Off you go. Keeping along the Christmas theme, we've got the Festive Bauble. This is one of our wrap die collections. So you can see on this one, Festive Bauble. So you've got the ability to wrap around your cards. If you want to do your wee gatefold cards, if you want to do your wee A5 or your A6 cards, then you can be using that. Why not use it to go around a box? You know, it could be a gift box if you want, but then start to add in your paper piece into the small elements as well. Build upon them. It's one long strip, so you've got two dies in total. However, what it does, it gives you the ability to die cut one long strip because right at the very end there's no cutting edge. You can actually make it as long as you so wish. They will go through your Gemini, your Junior and also your Mini and your Go as well because of the uh, the depth of it as uh, you can see. However, if you want to do your uh, open cards, so if you want to do your uh, 
gift wrap tags as well. You could be using them. Uh, so a really good one to have uh, all time of the year. You could be using it to maybe wrap around your cupcakes at Christmas Two, time. All one. these different things as well. Oh, I, I, I'll tell you what, they're definitely a knack. I cannot believe that we've got these ones on the five and five. Look at the price of these ones. These are our magnetic sheets. These actually, let me just grab, these would fit into your large storage binder. Now Ooh. you know that these are going to be held in place using your dies. Whether it's your wrap dies, whether it is any of your dies that you've got throughout the last day, the last week, the last month, the year, that's going to be so, uh, so that's going to be secured within these uh, magnetic sheets. You can start to get yourself organised, get yourself a few of them. There's no limits on what you can get. They will let store within each folder. You're getting three in total, so you can start to have your own collection, your own range. Maybe you've got a pop-up box range, maybe you've got the poinsettia. You can have that in maybe one half. Then you can have the Christmas cottage in the bottom on the other half. Maybe start to label the other side as well. Maybe Seven if you just seconds, want to hold other five, things, maybe create your four, own tags or that. Three, Put them on to two, hold that. All um, these different things. On to the next one. Six pounds eight fifty. If you want to get that last one there. Smaller thing, but the best thing in the world. You know, I am never, ever, ever, ever without them. We've got it back in stock. It's in the five and five. You're getting the two of them. You can be using that to poke out all your paper pieces. If you've got any of your die bits you need to poke out, you can use that one as well. If you want to do any additional uh, piece, and if you've got your rulers that have got the wee holes, and you can do your own paper pricking, you can be using that as well. If you use your glue gels, however, you want to actually uh, use the actual uh, poke tool instead of the syringe, then you could be using them as well. Never underestimate how much you will use them. If you're doing your flower form and foam, then you can be holding this into place. If you're going to be doing the heat embossing, it's going to be holding all your cardstock or any of your, your vellums, your asset into place, securing your fingers and just protecting your fingers. So this is something that Five, you need to have in your four, collection. Definitely multi-buy on that one because then you're one. going to be using it all. Time. On to the next one, one ninety nine to grab that one. A great oh. price on that last one. Embossing folder, again, perfect time for this time of the year with the Christmas within this one. It is a three. D embossing folder. It's a postcard, dear Santa. So if I quickly turn this around, I'll let you see the idea. It gives you the po the postcard style. So if you do that onto black card, maybe craft card, bring in your gilding wax. You can be bringing in your inks. Do your distressing. Do your uh, ink techniques within these ones. Actually use them as a postcard. Why not create your own postcard? Pop it into the post. Maybe you can write your own wee note from Santa to your uh, kids this Christmas time. But then it could be your full on Christmas card. Fold it into your card blank, run it through your embossing folder, that's all that you need to do. Nothing more break. at all. But the ability of doing all these different things when it comes to a 3D embossing folder is mind blowing. Go through your large Gemini, or go through your Gemini Junior as well. Of Five, course, any other your die four, cut machines is going to three, go through. Perfect two, time for this time of year. Christmas cards. Three pounds and four fifty. If you want to get that one more to go, Craig. Talking about coming at this time of the year as we're coming up to, uh, unfortunately, the autumn and the winter time, break. we've got our umbrella, Ella, Ella. You've got your umbrella where you've got your actual die as well <laughs> as your uh, stamp set. Use the stamp on their own where you can be starting to do your masking if you've got the pebble drawn gum, but then incorporate the die where it'll die cut it out. Use the die on its own so you can create an outline, an aperture, a shaker card. However, having this one and just paper piecing all these little bits out, stamp them multiple times, cut them out, paper piece them back in. Use any of your spray backgrounds to create your own effect. If you've got your tacky glue, maybe your glossy accents, you could be adding that to uh, little drops on it so it's going to be actually like glistening rain falling down. Left. Maybe you actually die cut out and incorporate it to your staycations, maybe your pop-up boxes as well. Imagine that just hanging over the edge of your pop-up box, that would look quite Five, cool as well. Four, Decorate it whatever way you three, want with your paper pads, two, cut into them and one. design your own. Oh, wasn't that fun? I loved that. People are not happy though. It feel I feel like this is the, people have not been so outraged since Deirdre Rashid went to prison in Coronation Street, Craig, because Betsy says I prefer the horn. Kelly says I want the horn back. Is that a lunch bell? Can we just get the horn back, please? Says uh, June. I prefer the horn. Uh, Sonia says I knew Joe would find something else to make more noise with. Maybe we can have a wind chime. Laurie suggests that would be very, very uh, gentle. How about we just say next? That's Ryan's yes, suggestion. I like that. Uh, no horn. I agree. I agree with Craig. The bell is more annoying. 
can we get a little bell that sits on the table that we just ding? Do you know we what can? it is though? No, see, if Joe just used it in between the five and five, that would be fine. Joe uses it every chance he can get, even I'm before no we're not on. That's why it's annoying. So, there you go. <laughs> it's not annoying because of on air. It's annoying because the build up to every single show uh, with me uh, ring it. Uh, Joe, should I, says, I suggest maybe I should ring it more nicely? Is that better? Okay. Don't be so, don't be so violent. It's just a bell, producer Laura. Right. Uh, I need to remind you, everyone, uh, remember, getting their hands that spends over £40 or $40 will get the coveted, the esteemed, the exclusive members event tote bag uh, when you spend over £40 or over $40, which is fantastic. Also, remember, our members event has started this morning here on Crafters TV and it's going all the way through to Sunday evening. However, it's while stocks last on the bag, but you will all still get double points, which is amazing. So if you're eyeing the next level of the club, maybe you're silver or gold, you're eyeing gold or platinum, then this could be the week that you do it. And everyone will get an extra 5% off as well. The 5% off, it will be the prices you're seeing, I'm being told, when you are logged in. So it'll already be there, which is great. Uh, platinum members getting almost 25% off now this week, which is fantastic. Now, if you are new to us, you're thinking, oh, Club Inspire, extra 5% off. Yes, please, what's the club? Here's Sarah to tell, tell you all the details. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. All the details there, of course, of Club Inspire. Very divisive still uh, in the comments. Yeah, the bell's annoying, says uh, Paula. Laurie says, that is just a baby bell. Get him a big cow bell. Can you imagine? Uh, Mariah says, uh, with musical notes, you can ring my bell. I think she's uh, having a little sing-song. Uh, the bell is better than the horn. Uh, what about the announcement chimes from Heidi High? Bing bong. Maybe we could have those, uh, suggests Astrid. Um, I apparently, I owe you a few Twix bars for that, Craig, apparently. Uh, Ring-a-ding, Joe, says Cindy Sue. Uh, it's very, I mean, it's, it definitely captured the imagination, uh, our new sound effect. Maybe there'll be another new sound effect next Maybe. week who knows could, always, oh, could always try the britain's got talent buzzer you know every oh, time oh yes yeah, yeah that'd yeah, be that really would be really good, good. One, actually yeah absolutely uh right i want to recap on the edibles remember the edibles they sold out uh, it feels like well it was months ago we've waited a really long time to get these back in stock they are back in stock now you can grab them and get your hands on them and you can get the really comprehensive bundle with them which is fantastic in that big bundle you're going to get the hearts which is the heart confetti which this one you can see here You've also got the cascading circles there. This is that beautiful, elegant rose that you can see. It's wonderful for paper piecing that one. And you've got the butterflies in there too. Now that is not the whole collection. You're also getting, of course, the cupcakes in there. Love those. 
and you're getting the balloons in there as well. Now these are edgeable crates, so I'm guessing lots and lots of different techniques that can be achieved with these. Absolutely, yeah, I know you think edgeable, maybe you could only use it on the edgeables. However, let's show you some of the different things that you could use. So you can see here, completely changing the colour, so with the love hearts on this one here, we've gone for obviously the black and the reds, but then with the love hearts you've got all these hearts that also die cut out. Use them, so either pop them behind or use them for your shaker card or maybe for uh, obviously weddings, anything like that that you could be using it for. But then keep it simple, that's the rows, couple of strips of ribbon, that's all that you need to do just to pop it down the side there. But then another edgeable one where it's on the open of the card where we've done what we've done a bit similar earlier on with the balloons there that we've just added the glitter card and cut around it. But then look at this one, bringing in all your different inks that have created an easel card. Look at the vibrancy of that one and all these uh, circles at the top there. What we've just done is paper pieced back in so it can look different. So there's an easel card now. Then again on this one, so we've done twisted easel, but you can see how now it's on the inside of the card as well, it's not actually on the outside. It could have even been a stopper along the bottom. You've got all the cupcakes, why not chop them all out as well, use them individually, you don't just have to use it as one border strip. Again with the butterflies, there we go, we've got the two strips at each side there. So making a feature piece of the actual, uh, actual uh, edibles doesn't just have to be used on their own, but then again mirroring in all your mixed media inks and just using some black and gold. Not much to it but look how awesome that looks and again at a diagonal not a lot to this but quite spectacular just cutting that rose at an angle and just letting that doing this doing all the talking for itself wonderful lots that you can do with those it's why they are so very very busy 38 pounds 66 dollars which is brilliant all of you pretty much they are available individually pretty much everyone getting them as part of that bundle now talking about great value bundles that christmas pop-up box die collection is super super busy uh, you've got the five uh, stamp die collections in there the paper pad and also uh of course your rocker blocks in there too let me take you through the dies i've seen you showing you the samples a couple of times let me take you through uh the boards and you'll see everything that you're getting in and it gives you a really nice uh, idea of what you're going to be able to do with these which is fantastic so there is Santa and Rudolph which is that one just there this one here is your Christmas cottage which is beautiful you've then got the gingerbread men in there as well that one is your uh, this is the nativity scene which is called a way in a manger there as well and then finally uh, you've got that lovely poinsettia poinsettia delights is what we are calling that one and these would be great actually just making things like reefs with as well separately of course or you could use them as part of your pop-up now remember you're getting the rocker blocks in there you're also getting that wonderful paper pad now the paper pad of course it's going to work beautifully with all your pop-up boxes you could add Absolutely use this for your general Christmas crafting as well if you want to. Some really beautiful Christmas themed pop up, uh, some beautiful themed Christmas themed papers in there for you. Individuals are along the bottom of the screen there, $12.99 or $19.99 if you want to get your hands on that one, which is brilliant. Uh, very, very busy there. Oh, there is another one though as well, and a lot of you are popping this, adding this one into your basket. It is, of course, the snowman. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, Snowman. Uh, it is, uh, in, it's not available in the big collection. It is available individually. Details on the bottom of your screen there, $24.99. Uh, that's actually incorrect. Let me just get you the further correct details. Uh, it is... Uh, there you are, $14.99 or $19.95. You can mix and match the snowman with the others if you want to cherry pick, absolutely you can do that. If you're wanting to make the box dies as well, you will need the box die template, uh, which is available individually for you. Uh, and it is $24.99 or $39.95 uh, to get that die as well. Now, I know Craig has got even more uh, that he wants to share with you. Still very decisive. Uh, Cynthia talking about my model modeling. She says, yes, Joe, model it, work it, baby. Pop that hip. Uh, thank you for that, Cynthia. Helen says, I bet Joe was an annoying child. <laughs> She does go on to say, who played constantly with any noisy toy. Isn't Helen, is Helen joining us for the craft house on Saturday? Helen Goodwin. Well, Helen, <laughs> I shall see you on Saturday. <laughs> I am only joking, of course. Uh, I think we'll have to bring the horn back at this rate. Um, 
Asuli says she misses the horn as well. Great job, Craig. Joe was surely giving you a run. Uh, maybe a kid's vi- xylophone would be a good uh, instrument for our five in five. Um, <laughs> uh, Christine says you asked for that, Craig. Now he'll be buzzing after that. Uh, right, Craig, what do you fancy showing us next? Right, you know, let's go for the nativity. But what I'll do first is I'll show you how you can start to actually uh, create the uh, pop-up box. So what you're wanting to do is, taking the uh, pop-up concept uh, die, you're going to bring in your uh, cardstock, your A4 cardstock, of course, if you're in the States, it could be your letter size. So all that you're going to do, you're going to need two of them, die cut two of them to create the size. So if you cut it in the full-on uh, size to start with, so all that I'm just doing is I'm just having the edge of my die right up at the top of the cardstock. You can create a pop-up box using your Gemini Junior. However, it's going to be a shallow box because remember, that has to be able to fit through the Gemini Junior plate. If you want a shallow box, then absolutely you can do. But the best thing is if you've got your large Gemini, using it this way, and then you can now, what we're going to show you in a minute, you can then actually cut your box to whichever length that you want. So you can have a wee diddy short one, you can have a long one, the length of A4 or letter size. It's entirely up to yourself. So let's take this one out. So I'm only going to do the one because I've got them ready in black because I'm going to use black for the nativity but it's a bit easier to show you in white. So for anyone that's maybe new or maybe not seen the actual uh, pop-up box construction die then this is what you're going to do. So if we're just going to take that one off so this is what it starts to look like. So all that you're just going to do is let's just snip away just that excess bit just there. So take that away, get rid of that, bringing in your guillotine or it could be your ruler in your craft knife. What you're wanting to do is just where that snip of the card is. You just want to extend that. You want to get rid of that. So you're just cutting down. So all that we're just going to do is if I pop that one under and we're just going to, there we, there we go, perfect. We're just lining that up so we can snip this last strip off. So we can just cut that one off. Then all that I'm just going to do is turning it around and we want to do the same with this bit here. We just want to slit all the way down. So we're just going to line that up and we're going to line it up till we get to the edge I can see here and we're going to get rid of that bit. Then what we're going to do, let's use uh, pop the guillotine to the side for a moment because we'll still need that. What we want to do now is bringing in our score tool you can see down the centre, just where these wee end bits are, there's a wee score line that ends just there. So what you just want to do is you just want to continue that score line all the way down. So just where you've got, so we'll just move that one over. So I'm just lining that one up that I can see with my eye from here. So I'm just continuing that all the way down. So we've now got that score line all the way. So then what you would do is do this one as well. See how you've got the wee tab just there? You want to do exactly the same. So let's just run that one down as well. And that gives you the concept of the pop-up box. So you would do that twice, then you decide how tall that you want it. So just fold in that one over because that's going to be the top of your pop-up. You can die cut to assemble them and then cut them if you want to make it easier. But keep in mind, this is going to be the top of your pop-up box. So just decide, let's see, if you want it to be, the height to be six inches, I've just popped it up to the top there where it says six inches and just cut. And then if we just start to fold these bits in, so fold in that one in that way, that one in that way, that goes back. So you're going to do that twice and then that starts to give you your pop-up mechanism. So you'll just do another one at the side just there, but that lets you work out how tall you want to have your pop-up box. So that's how you die cut them and score them. So again, let's quickly, let's just assemble this one. So as we were left off with the white, all that we're just going to do now actually is this, this will be uh, four and a half in depth, this one. So let's take a red liner tape. Again, let's just peel that one off. And then we're just going to join that one up to there. So that's just going to join up to the side there and there. Flipping that one over. Again, let's just take that strip off. And then we're just going to bring in this end, folding it over just into there to meet in the middle. 
and there is your pop-up elements starting to come together that you can see just there. Someone's just asked, Craig, as well, um, who was it? Beth says, can you tell me the dimensions of a folded pop-up box? So I'm guessing when it goes into an envelope, I think she means. Yeah, it completely depends on the depth of uh, how tall you want it. So for instance, so from, uh, you know, side to side, you are at least always going to be seven inches, but the height of it will determine obviously where you cut off. So you can have it really quite shallow or you can have it the length of A4 or letter size. So it'll be seven inches in, left, in width when you fold it over, but the depth will just depend on uh, how deep that you want it to be. So I've just die cut another three of those tabs, so that die set that comes within the pop-up box. We're just going to pop these ones in and then the fun bit of decorating. So when are you back with this one, Crafters TV, Craig? Uh, I am not back until uh, Saturday for um, Craft House. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Adam. I, I, I don't know. I wasn't mouth. sure if there was something I, I, else coming there. Or... No, no, there was, but I took a massive swig of coffee. I thought you were going to go a little bit further than that. I thought you were going to give me a bit more. Right, here we go. I told you we had props, honestly. It's like a dress-up box in here today. The Craft Clinic is open. Get your questions in right now. I've got loads of questions. I've got loads written down already, Craig. Yes. But I need more because of course I need to oh I can't get that in that side because I've got my earpiece in but I need to uh, diagnose some crafty conundrums Craig and get the answers when I say di diagnose them and get the answers I mean ask Craig uh, so <laughs> definitely get them in uh, right now over on Facebook just to let you know for uh, legal reasons I am not a doctor uh, and any of the advice that I should that I give you should be taken with a massive pinch of salt just uh, to let you know that there we go, that's so funny, I love that. <laughs> so there we go, I've just popped those wee tabs in like we've done earlier on. That starts to give us the pop-up mechanism. So all that I'm going to do now is I'm just taking some of the pattern paper that comes within the 12 by 12 paper pad. I've just matted and layered that onto some glitter card. And all that I'm going to do for the moment, Joe, is just layer this on. Fantastic. Oh, I love the outfit. Uh, Suzette says, Dr. Joe. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> hey, never mind Dr. Jones, it's Dr. Joe, isn't it? Absolutely. Dr. Joe, Joe, darling, Dr. Joe. I make a very handsome doctor, according to Betsy. Well, I've got, I had to make a, a handsome something, Betsy. It was only process of elimination. I'm glad we got there and found out it was actually a doctor. Uh, I'm more of a triage nurse, apparently, than a doctor. I'm not sure what a triage nurse does, but I'll take that. I'm feeling very Holby City, uh, if anyone watches that here in the UK. See, I say very Grey's Anatomy. Grey's, I'd have never yeah. seen Grey's Anatomy. <gasps> I couldn't even tell you what it was about. Oh, it's on tonight as well, here in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wonder if you could be a doctor of craft? I wonder if you could do like a PhD on craft and then become a doctor. Do you know that there's, you can become a doctor of Eurovision, so I reckon you must be able to become a doctor of craft. I suppose you could be a doctor of anything. Maybe you could days, be doctor, you? Dr. Decoupage. That's Doctor. what I want to call myself. <laughs> uh, excuse me, no, I want that title, please. <laughs> you can be Dr. Die Cut. Do Dr. Martin Lear. Doesn't have the same <laughs> ring to it, no. does it? <laughs> Dr. Foam Pad. No. <laughs> Dr. Foam Pad. Yeah. <laughs> it's not working, isn't it? We'll get there. We'll, we'll get, get there. there. So all that I'm doing is layering them up. Now the layers again, if you missed earlier on, then the layers actually come within the actual die set to give you the pop-up box. So you've got your square as well as your rectangle. You've got some tabs as well. So we'll just finish layering this one up and then we'll start to create the pop-up. So That's let's wonderful. pop this one on. So just unfolding that, popping them all together. And then we're going to do the back. So you can see how that's coming together. Taking this last one. And then we're starting to build our nativity scene. I bet you can have loads of fun as well, going back through old paper pads, Craig, and finding exactly. different pattern papers, you know, getting into your stash, yeah. playing around with all those different textures, whether it's mirror card or glitter or your matte mirror, all of your different sort of linen effect card stocks as well. There's going to be loads that you're going to do. And also, I bet you'll end up bringing in a load of other stamps and die cut elements that you haven't fished mm -hmm. out for ages exactly. and played with when you've got this die. 
Yeah, you're right enough. Now, these panels that I've just done there, how many of you at home have got that bit box with uh, cardstock or papers at least that size, if not slightly bigger? These are going to be good to decorate all of your uh, pop-up boxes. And like you say, if you've got any of your small stamps, then, uh, you know, they don't have to be small. It could be a reasonable size. And then what you can start to do is incorporate these into the pop-up box. Create your own ones. Maybe little photos of your family or that. You could print them down to a nice small size and you can start to have them popping out as well. Be so, a lovely idea that. I love that'd the be a really of, good uh, idea. Little um, photos. Some people have those. Have you seen those little mini printers that print little photos? I, yeah, quote? I've got one. Like the little one strip yeah, ones. Sprocket. Yeah. Is there a? Is there an? Um, is there a? Um, oh, there was another brand of one, wasn't there? I can't yeah. remember. I want to say it was American Crafts, but I don't think it was. It was something along those lines. Uh, it was the Kodak one? That's yeah, the one I'm thinking yeah. of. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean as well. So what I'm just doing now is i'm just again using our alcohol proof dye because i would come along and color these ones out with our tri-blend pens um with my classics however you could use your tri-blend pens or maybe if you've got your aqua pens your sparkle pens use them as well it just doesn't have to be alcohol markers so we're just going to use our rocker blocks again i've just got some nina so all that i would just do is just roll that forward so we can pick up that detail. Now I have, you can see just here, stamped out one of all, all of the images. A couple of them I've actually stamped out a few times. And then what I've done also, they've done this one last night, colored them in. Oh, gorgeous. So you can see how you can just color them in and start to add all the shading together. So what I can then do is die cut them and then start to assemble them. That, to this is the fun bit, isn't it? This Would you is sit down, Craig, bit. and have a whole evening, maybe, of colouring and cutting out, and then a whole evening of assembling? Uh, well, you can kind of tell that's kind of what I've done last night. I've done uh, the stamping out, and then uh, done the colouring, and uh, then left the uh, designing to uh, today. Right, are you happy to do some crafty clinic questions while you're putting those Let's together, Craig? Let's go for it, yes. Okay, uh, Mariah wants to know, what size envelope do you need to fit the pop-up box? So it needs to at least be seven inches in width, but for the height of it, it depends on the, the actual height that you have the box. That's entirely up to yourself. But at least seven inches in width, and then the rest of it afterwards is up to yourself. Wonderful. Uh, Snoozy Loozy Old Sonia says, if you use quick dry inks to stamp with, can you color them with alcohol pens? You can do, you will sometimes still get a bit of a bleed sometimes, not a lot, but uh, yeah, you can do it if all you've got is your quick dry. Fair enough. Uh, a lot of people can't believe I've never seen uh, Grey's Anatomy. I'm Dr. Glitter, apparently, Dr. that's Gl what uh, Cindy Sue <laughs> says uh, as well. Christine Coppenrath, uh, the lovely Christine Coppenrath uh, from over in the Netherlands says, which ink pad to stamp onto mirror card? So for your mirror card, what you would want to do is use your um, translucent clear and an embossing powder. You're going to want to use one of them because what you want to do is you want to heat that powder to stay into place. Any of your other ink pads would just tend to wipe off. So use your embossing powders. Uh, Christine and a few others saying, I'm definitely the nurse. You should be wearing the doctor's outfit, apparently, uh, as you're the one <laughs> dishing out the information. I say dress for the job you want, and I might be a nurse, but I want to be a doctor today. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm going with. Um, apparently, triage means where you sort patients into their different um, sort of places, categories, if you will. You know, okay. also, Craig, we were talking about uh, being a doctor of craft. Yeah. Not a PhD quite, but the University of Hertfordshire have an MA in craft listed as one of their courses. All right. Fabulous okay. is that? Wow. Didn't know that. That's, that sounds mm. amazing. Dr. Shaker Tag is what I should be called, Shaker apparently. Tag. Right, Judith wants to know what sandwich for cutting box dies and can she batch make them, i.e. cut two at the same time? So what's that for these pop-up boxes? For any any box dies, I believe. So well, for generally for any of your uh, box dies, excluding your double-sided dies. So excluding your double-sided dies, but even these dies, box dies, pop-up box dies, it's exactly the same as any of your other dies. They're still the wafer thin. So it's still your base cut and plate, your plastic shim, magnetic shim, and then your top cut and plate as well. Wonderful. Uh, another one. Sharon wants to know what does DL stand for? 
Right, so, as I know it, it's direct length. However, this is one of those titles where there's actually, uh, you ask a few people and they'll give you a completely different name. So, the length, or sorry, the width of a DL card, if you were to double it lengthways, it's going to get two into that one. Ah. Don't know if, does that make sense? Does, it does, does make that make sense, sense to you? Yeah, so, it if you were to take the width, then if you were to double that, turning it around, then you're going to get two of the width and uh. the length. Someone that else, I've got no name on this one, but someone's asking, what is the angel policy on the staycation collection? Angel policy pretty much the same for everything, Ooh, is it, Craig? Oh, yeah, it's a bit tricky with that is one. Is it? There ain't right. one. So everything, unless stated, everything is designed uh, in-house here at Crafters Companion, which means you can make to sell for your own profit, make as much money as you want, make it for charity or just for some fun. It's entirely up to you. But unless stated, then you just have fun and do as much as you wish. Wonderful. Uh, <laughs> Betsy says uh, over on uh, Facebook, which ink pad to use when using the drawing gum? I use Memento and it's smeared when I sipped off the glue. Uh, I'm using alcohol markers to colour my edges, so I thought memento was perfect to use. I don't know what a memento is. So memento is just like your uh, memento black ink pad, so a bit like you would use instead of a stay on or an alcohol proof ink pad. Um, so just kind of think of the same as what you would do with normal uh, stamping. Uh, so of course when I, uh, earlier on when we were doing it, we were using the aqua pen, so therefore I used our watercolour card and I used our waterproof ink pad. Um, and then that will help you to actually just go in and colour in with your uh, Pebby or drawing gum. Fantastic. I think, um, oh, one more. Here we go. This is the last one, uh, I believe. It was penultimate question in the Crafty Clinic. Is there a specific reason you put dye plastic, then metal, instead of dye metal and then plastic? Wouldn't you put the metal against the dye so it would never move? Question mark, question mark from Cynthia. See that again, again? I'll do it again, but more slowly. Uh, is there a specific reason why you put dye, plastic, then metal instead of dye, metal, and then plastic. Wouldn't you put the metal against the dye so it would never move? That one stumped me. <laughs> that one, yeah. So, so it sounds like what Cynthia's doing is she's got her uh, her dye, yep. then she's got a plastic shim, then you and then her the metal shim on that. So it should be magnetic, not metal. So it's magnetic that she's talking yeah. about. Sorry. So yeah. Why That's would okay. you put the the dye and the magnetic together then in that case so that the dye didn't move? Traditionally, what you would fight. Let's take our. Place. <laughs> Do you like that very <laughs> yes. complex? Um, yes. <laughs> nice That's obviously dance. the international sign for that. So what you would find, Joe, is traditionally you would find you had. Let me do it. It's been years since I've done this one. So you would have your base cutting plate. You would have your plastic shim. You would have your magnetic shim. You would then pop your die on top of your metal shim so it doesn't move. Then you would put your card and then you would use your top cutting plate. However, the reason many don't do this, like myself, is we can't see what we're cutting. We can't, we can't see the die. We can't see what we're doing. So therefore, that's why what we usually do now, base cutting plate, We'll have our card stock, then we cut into our card, so now we can see where about that we are cutting into the card, then plastic shim, magnetic, and top cut and plate. It's irrelevant of the sandwich combination as long as you have a base cut and plate at the bottom and a base cut and plate at the top. But originally, when your die cut machines came about, you would pop your die on the magnetic shim to stop your die moving about. Wonderful, fantastic. Thank you for clearing that up, Craig. Hilary, as well, final question says, Joe, where did you get your coat from? Well, obviously, when I graduated with first class honours uh, in uh, from my PhD. He's already from Dr. Hillary. He's already it from Dr. Hillary. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. Director Daniel got it. I don't know. Where did you get it from, Director Daniel? Uh, it was, oh, uh, the highest, it, it feels like the highest quality Egyptian cotton. Really 
doesn't. Um, but yeah, just from Amazon. I think, I think it actually is quite nice with my uh, members' tote bag, you know. But that is the uh, that's the Crafty Clinic closed uh, for today, Craig. Uh, we'll reopen it uh, next Wednesday. I won't reopen it next Wednesday. Derek will be here uh, in the jacket next Wednesday, uh, reopening uh, the <laughs> reopening uh, the Crafty Clinic. Uh, someone's saying it's probably too big for him. It's probably is way too big uh, for Der Derek. It's much more slender uh, than I am. That looks absolutely beautiful, that uh, finished project there, Craig. Do you just want to show us that again? Sorry, I was chat, chat, chatting away over you uh, finishing that demonstration there. Here we go. So there's the finished result for it. So we've just popped it on. Again, I popped them straight on to those wee tabs that are inside, but you could have them suspended onto acetate strips. But all these images that we've just done, even these ones along the bottom, are all done from the stamp set as well. So there you can see just there, creating all that dimension within the pop-up box. Uh, beautiful, really, really lovely that. And you can see that. I love the nativity one because it's traditional, but it's kind of very modern as well in the artwork too. Remember what you're getting in there. You're getting those five different stamp die sets, which work beautifully with that big uh, in the uh, pop-up box die concept. You've also got the rocker blocks and you've got the paper pad. You can get them individually. There is an extra one available when you go for them individually or on the two for 26 or 35. It's the snowman as well that is available in there when you get it there in that configuration. Uh, very busy across everything you've seen. Don't forget about uh, the pop-up box die on its own as well. Uh, of course, you're going to need that if you want to create those pop-up boxes. Right, we're going to go back and look at, uh, I do love these, we're going to look at this staycation. I'm just going to whiz you through again quite quickly. It's been very, very busy on this. Every single time that we bring it to you, it seems to just get busier and busier. The Four different stamp die collections in here are Life's a Beach, Happy Camper, you've also got The Simple Life in here, and you've also got Road Trip as well. £45 or $55 to get you all of those. Don't forget as well about that beautiful paper pad uh, that goes with that too. Really, really gorgeous. You can get the paper pad uh, on its own individually if you want to get hold of it. Details there on the screen for that. $14.99 or $17.95 if you want to get hold of that one. Right. We're going to go back. We're going to go all the way back to uh, the edibles, which are down here. Let me just grab them for you. So these are your edibles, and you can see here absolutely everything you're getting. Super, super busy on the edibles, as we knew they would be. They've been out of stock for a really long time. I think a lot of you have been waiting for these to come in. A lot of this had gone before we actually came live uh, this evening. So you've got your butterflies there, which are gorgeous. You've also got those wonderful uh, confetti hearts here for you too. You've then got the cast cascading circles and you've also got there your rose as well which is just fantastic uh, you're also getting don't forget the cupcakes which are gorgeous and you're getting uh, there's the cupcakes and you're getting uh, the balloons here as well 38 pounds or 66 dollars to get all of them they are available on a multi buy for you and individually if you want to get them like that 7.99 or 13.95 or two for 14 pounds or $23. Right, Craig, do you have something you want to share with us? I know we don't have, we've only got about 10 minutes or so left on the show. Where's the time going? I must just say as well, don't forget, double points across everything, an extra 5% off on top of your Club Inspired discount across everything, and you're going to be totally blown away here. Do you see what I did there? <laughs> oh, yeah. You totally need to get this in the bag. Uh, it is, of course, our members' event tote. It is absolutely gorgeous uh, but yeah 40 pounds or 40 dollars if you spent over that after your club inspired discounts this will automatically appear into your basket keep calm and craft on uh, remember this members event goes all the way up to sunday evening but we don't know if we have enough of these to last so it's a wild stocks last situation that we've got uh, with this bag so please be please be do quick for it you know what i mean please do be quick for it. That's where I was going. Save me, Craig. <laughs> save you. Save you. Let's save you. I'll save you with some love. What we're going to do is let's use our um, heart confetti. So all that I've just done just before you came back to me is I just cut a card blank. Now, I've cut it to a nice small one just to fit the side, just to give you the idea of the concept. If maybe you're just joining us and you've never seen them in the first launch. So what we're going to do is pop that one to the side. Let's bring in our uh, low tack tape. So let's bring this one in. And then all that I'm going to do is just to the edge of my cardstock, I'm just going to tape that into place just to hold it in. So we're going to 
pop that there and then there. So let's just turn this around so we're facing that way. And I'm just going to turn it just at a slight bit of an angle. And then again, what we're going to do now is if we pop that on top, plastic shim, magnetic shim, top cutting plate, and we're just going to run it through that way. So if you had maybe some uh, eight by eight cardstock, then what you could do is you could actually layer these within the middle. So you could start to create an aperture that's actually got the hearts all the way around. There's actually uh, a tutorial of something very similar, not with the heart, but one of the other one on uh, one of the uh, YouTube videos. So that's worthwhile checking that out. But if we peel that one off now, then all that I'm just going to do is if I bring in my scissors and then just at the bottom here, just where the die ends, I'm just snipping that away and then I'm just going to snip that away. Now that gives us our edgeable for our card blank that we can see just there. So then what you could then do is if I bring in some, have we got any red? We're bound to have some red. We've got pink. Oh, we've got some red Centura Peril, so that'll do. So you could then start to layer that one just behind, just a wee bit of a matte layer. All that you would need is maybe just a wee sentiment, just at the side, red bow maybe, that's all that you've got. But then remember, looking at these hearts, you've got some of these hearts that are full hearts. So you can keep a hold of them. You could be using them elsewhere in your crafting. You've even got tiny, tiny little ones in the, that are in there. So use them on their own. Use them in conjunction. You could just pop them, a wee, uh, pop them about. You could be using them for confetti for any weddings or yeah, your shaker cards that you could be using. So always have a look and see what else you could be using with uh, what would potentially be waste of your uh, card. See how else it could uh, be effective in what you make. So all I'm just going to do is, let's just do a wee bit of a layer on the back. So that's four inches, so let's go down to three. To help if our card was straight, let's just straighten this. So we've got a three and a quarters, and we were, in length, we were six and a quarter. So let's go down to six inches. So if I move that out of the way, let's bring in our tape runner. And then, as I say, it could be such a simple card. You don't need to do much to it but it's so effective as well. So if I just pop that one to the side, and then what we're going to do is fold that one over. Now you can see that that red is shining through. That could be matte card, merry card, black. Um, it could be glitter card. And then you can just be popping it and finishing off with a wee bit of an accent. And like I say, maybe a wee sentiment or that. And that's all that you need. It's absolutely beautiful. What a really lovely, quick, simple card that you're doing. If you're batch making cards as well, you know, no doubt batch making Valentine's Day cards, as you do, Craig, uh, then that would be a great, <laughs> a great one that you could use for that. Maybe you've got invitations, something like wedding invitations to create. It would also work equally well for that. But again, Craig, because these are edibles, I'm thinking loads of different techniques that you can do across all the different designs. Yeah, just don't think of edible. Think of obviously doing any of your masking. If you've got any of your paste, you know, if you want to do it with your mixed media, create borders down the side of your canvases using your mixed media. Could you imagine if you were to paste through that rose down a really nice slim canvas, that would look quite elegant. But it's again, some of these we showed you earlier on, bring in all these different faster colours that you've got. Look at the difference within these ones, but how different that they look. So this one, as you can see, it's on the angle. With this one, instead of it being on the edgeable on the uh, what is my right hand side you can see we've got it onto the left hand side just there creating that to uh, frame a sentiment so we've used the die on both sides just there and then that's just framing that sentiment just nicely again doing concept cards doing shape cards so you're actually using it again on this side just here but chopping in to all these wee bits and adding little accents so don't just have to use them as uh, the edibles why not have a look to see what else that you can get out of the dies that come out Again, paper piecing back in, using this as a top of your uh, easel card, but also using it as a stopper as well. Looks so good. And then again, within these ones, you've got all these tiny circles. All of these ones are also die cut as well. Use them. Use what you can. Glitter card just poking through. That is your... Uh, your edible style, but you could if you wanted as well, if I was to turn that around, you could have it so that it's die cutting uh, along the actual edge. So yeah, it would be on its side, but it would give a different uh, shape and size to it. Something simple. Got the rose there, couple of strips of ribbon with one of your sentiment stamps, 
that looks so elegant but a very straightforward car. I'm just going to just flick through all these different styles that you can see just there. Uh, all these different ones. Carol Ann says, when is Joe going to make a card? Probably never. <laughs> not on air anyway can you imagine if i tried to do, i mean no, i wouldn't do it here i'd do it at home absolutely imagine the amount of scrutiny that i'd be leaving myself open to after all of these beautiful things that you make astrid said all your craigs all craigs makes have been absolutely fabulous they really really have um a lot of you talking about what you've gone for in the show as well people really really loving them what a day we have for you uh, tomorrow double cartload of course coming your way uh, so i'll be here with sarah at 11 a.m for you we're going to kick it all off in the morning and then we'll both be back up again at 4 p.m here in the uk which will be 11 a.m on the east coast which is 8 a.m uh, across on the west coast as well we've had a very very busy show the staycation every time we bring it to you seems to get busier and busier uh, and you've really loved having those edibles back in stock as well uh, you've loved the snowman that's gone uh, in with the pop-up boxes too lots of you uh, are using the multi by building your own bundle uh, with those pop-up boxes there is some incredible incredible deals uh, coming your way tomorrow don't forget as well uh, the members event rolls on all the way through until Sunday evening uh, so you're going to get that double points that extra 5% off and that glorious tote bag when you spend over £40 or $40 uh, now we're not going to see you for a couple of days Craig will you be relaxing or are you just working from home. No, don't be daft as if I relax. I may if uh, the weatherman and ladies get it right. It's meant to be glorious all over the UK on Friday, so I might try and take a wee bit of time for myself. However, I am going to be uh, working on uh, quite a few things coming up. I am going to be working on Craft House for this Saturday with myself and Joe, which is all about hunky dory crafts. We've got some new things that you've not seen before, and these are spectacular. I cannot wait. I've even been showing you some sneak peeks already across on my Instagram. Uh, certainly, Saturday. Saturday and Sunday with Joe, but myself with, and uh, Debbie. It's going to be a great weekend. It really, really will be. Make sure you pop over and give Craig socials a like to uh, get some more of those sneaky peeks. Right. Uh, I hope you uh, have a great rest of the day if you're across in the US. Enjoy your evening if you're here in uh, the UK or in Europe. We've loved spending uh, the last couple of hours with you and we'll see you back here for another full day tomorrow. Take care.